Hello everybody, Viprov here, and I will be teaching you through this 27 chapter in your Java E7 tutorial series. It is very important that web applications understand one another. Their medium for communicating is the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP, which is what you're familiar with, and their language is web services. So this chapter will go over the Java EE7 web technologies like Java API for XML web services, or JAX-WS, and Java API for RESTful, RESTful Web Services, or JAX-RS. So what are web services? Web services are the client server applications that communicate using the HTTP protocol. Like I said before, they are the languages of web apps that is used to communicate. So to clarify, uh, websites are meant for human consumption. The stuff that you go on online, search on Google, that's a website. And web services are meant for application level consumption. These are basically computers that use other computers to do stuff that, uh, like computer stuff. All right, so there are different types of web services. On a technical level, web services can be seen in two ways either big web services or the other one called RESTful web services. So, big web services. JAX WS provides the functionality of big web services, which are services that use XMOS messages in a SOAP, which is a simple object access protocol way. A SOAP based design must establish a formal contract using WSDO, which is a web services description language, and this contract readies the receiver so it expects what is coming. It's basically like a contract that these two senders and receivers, um, they basically sign into and they understand that if you're going to talk to me, you're going to be talking to me through this language exactly. So uh, then there's the RESTful web services. So JAX-RS pr provides the functionality of RESTful, uh, like, which means representational state transfer web services and is often better suited to H for HTTP than SOAP-based design due to its lack of a need for XML messages or WSDO service API definitions. There is a JAX-RS implementation called Project Jersey that makes it easier for developers to make RESTful web services with Java. A RESTful design is most useful during times of when the web services are stateless, meaning that they can stay up even when the servers are down, for performance, RESTful web services are much faster than um, SOAP uh, designs and bandwidth limitation. So bandwidth can be limited, which is important on devices like phones due to their inferior hardware to PCs. We'll be talking more about RESTful web services in the coming chapters. But first of all, let's talk about deciding what type of web service to use. RESTful web services are best suited for integration over the web, and big web services uh, work well in enterprise application integration scenarios that have advanced quality of service or QoS requirements, which is the act of taking control of an application's resources and trafficking them to increase the quality of each task. And that's it. That's all there is about the introduction into web services. In the next chapter, we'll be talking about JAX-WS, or basically Java API for XML web services and using SOAP to our advantage. But until then, I will see you in the next video.